Hey guys, welcome to Smart Coach. Today I'm going to show you a little bit small trick how to combine speeds when there are multiple items relating to speed, time and distance. Okay, now when it comes to combination of speeds, there will be when there is more than one item. Like for example, two trains are traveling, two persons are traveling, one train, one person is traveling, two buses are there. What kind of question it is does not matter. If there are more than one item which has two, two speeds, now what do you do? If you refer to books and videos and everything, you will see, you will have shortcut for everything. Yes. But let's assume, I want to ask this question to all, that if one chapter has 15 shortcuts, and you have to memorize 15 formulas for a chapter, how does that shortcut make a sense? A shortcut should be quick, easy to memorize and easy to use. So my suggestion to you is that I'll show you how to combine speeds. Means what? When I'm doing speed, time and distance, only formula that I use is that distance is equal to speed into time. That's it. Distance is equal to speed into time. My concern is this guy. Now, I'm showing there are everything, there are tricks to do everything, but I'm just concentrating on speed today. What speed, if let's say there is a question, a man is traveling at 10 km per hour, travel for two hours. What is the distance? Only one speed given? Only one time given? Put it there, done. Now, the question says, there is one train at 40 km, the other train has 50 km traveling for two hours. Now, will you use 40 here? Will you use 50 here? Point is none. One formula, you cannot put two values. Here, you have to combine the values and make it one. How to do that? I'll show you that. Now, before combining, you have to understand when it comes to speed, there are two types of speeds. One, we call it a relative speed. One, we call it the inertia speed. Now, what's a inertia speed? Before that, what's a inertia? Inertia is a state of object in which the body tends to move if he is moving and if it is at rest, he will constantly be in rest irrespective of the other factors. Means what? Let me put it in a reframe. For example, a ball is there who is moving at a speed of 10 km per hour and if he is moving, he will constantly go on moving. He will not stop throughout his life, throughout whatever happens. And if a ball is at rest, he will not move irrespective of whatever happens. That is state of inertia, but until and unless an external force acts on it. For example, if I roll a ball, will it go on moving throughout his life, throughout your life? No, it stops down. Why? because of the friction. Friction is an external force acting on the ball which is allowing the ball to slow down. If let's say a ball is at rest, does it move? No, until unless you don't push it, that is inertia. Relative is when you are comparing two different items. Now, how will you justify if it is a relative or an inertia uh, speeds? For It's a very simple case. Let's consider two trains. If one train is going on one track, the other train is going on other, another track, this is a case of relativity. Relativity means what? One body will be beside the second body, not on top of the other body. Let me give you another example. Let's say there is a river flowing down and there is a boat there. See, the boat is on top of the river, right? When you are on top of the another thing, the body tends to accept, means it acquires the speed of the other guy. It is the same concept when you are sitting in a bus, you acquire the speed of the bus because of the law of inertia. So when is on something is on top of the other, then it is a case of inertia. When some things are beside each other, then it is a case of relative, relative velocities. Now, example, two trains, relative. A man walking beside a train, relative. Two buses overtaking, relative. A boat is going upstream, inertia. Got it? Now, how will you combine? There are two stages of combine. For example, it might happen so the bodies might be traveling in the same direction 
or the bodies traveling in the opposite direction. Now, when the bodies are traveling in the same direction, what you do in case of inertia, you add the speeds. But in case of relativity, you will subtract the speeds. Where it case, when it comes to body traveling in opposite direction, these two will flick. Flick in a sense, this will become subtraction and relative will become addition. That's how you can combine speeds. Now, imagine a question. Let's say there are two trains. One train is traveling at a speed of 10. The second train is traveling at a speed of 20 km per hour. Now, when you say two trains becomes what? Case of relative, right? When it becomes the case of relative, then the question will specify that are they traveling in the same direction or are they traveling in the opposite direction? If they are traveling in the same direction, what you do? Subtract them. That is 20 minus 10 is 10. But if they are traveling in the opposite direction, since it's a case of relative, then you add them. 20 plus 10 is 30. That's it. You use that, put it there, put the other variables, your problem is solved. This is how you combine speeds. Try your questions out. I guarantee you it will work and it is one of the easiest way of doing it. Stay tuned. I'll be showing you how to combine distances and how to combine time in the future videos. Stay tuned to Smart Coach.